Which of the following aqueous solutions should demonstrate the most non-ideal behavior? All right, let's first of all talk about what ideal behavior is. Really is where the um, I in all of our colligative property equations is approximately equal to the number of ions or particles. Now, uh, a dead giveaway on this, it wouldn't matter the concentration, but if I had um, something like just sucrose or glucose or a sugar like that, which does not ionize, it's very ideal. So it would have an ideal behavior of one. It's going to behave like a, an entire molecule. But all these others do have I values. Like this one has an I, an ideal I, number of ions of two. This one is two. This one is two. That is three. And that is two. And we are just counting the number of ions. So most non-ideal is going to be the highest value possible because that actually... Um, um, the the higher the larger the i the more chances are they are going to interact with each other because the charges get bigger but what we have to weigh it with is the concentration as well because the concentration factors in uh, because it helps increase the number of particulates so you're looking at the i's the uh, concentration and last little tiebreaker is you look at the charges of the species like these uh, first two uh, since they're both of a t uh, an uh, I of two and their concentrations is really, really close, they both have about the same behavior predictably. But since this is a positive two and that's a negative two, it's going to be a lot more non-ideal. Those larger charges really do oppose each other more. So the, of these, the one that actually weighs into all of those, high concentration, two molar, um, high charges with a plus two copper, and uh, the number I is, is, is the largest one on there.